हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू द सिक्योरिटी ट्यूब ग्नू डीबागर एक्सपर्ट कोर्स एंड सर्टिफिकेशन नाउ इन पार्ट ट्वेल्व वी विल लुक एट क्रैकिंग अ सिंपल प्रोग्राम ऑन आर्म नाउ इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी सेट अप एन आर्म सिस्टम यूजिंग क्यूम्यू एंड ऑल आई एम डूइंग राइट नाउ इज बेसिकली लॉक्ड इन टू द सेम सिस्टम ओवर एस एस एच यूजिंग द पोर्ट रिडायरेक्शन विच आई टॉक अबाउट in the previous video now i am reusing one of the code files which i had before and this is the unlock secret program and if you remember and you followed the previous videos all this does is checks a user supplied password against a string by calling is password correct the return value is check pass if the return value is 1 then we unlock the secret if it is not 1 then we basically display the incorrect password message right let me compile this in the usual way there you go let me run the program demo pass and as expected we have incorrect password now let's load this up into gdb fantastic <clears throat> and let's go ahead and disassemble main right so we see a bunch of stuff here all of this of course is arm assembly uh but let's just focus on the key thing which is more than sufficient to help us crack this problem and that is to understand the calling convention for functions on arm typically using gcc right so let's go ahead and see the different functions which are in here now we can actually see is password correct is one of the functions located here Let's copy this value and let's set a breakpoint here. Right now, let's run the program with any argument, and there you go. We've hit the breakpoint. Now, before I move further, we need to understand a couple of things about ARM calling conventions. Now, the best place to look. add all of this in much more detail is wikipedia calling convention arm from where i have picked this up as a reference now r0 to r3 is where all the function call arguments go in and once the function returns the return value again goes back there now r4 to r11 are typically used as local variables r13 is the stack pointer and r15 is the program counter now if we go back here and do an info registers uh you would notice that the stack pointer is typically named sp and the program pointer is basically pc this is your r13 and r15 right and then you have all your registers lined up from r0 to r12 now let's go ahead and look at what is there in these registers now if you remember is password correct there were just two arguments the first being the user supplied input and the second being the actual password uh, which is hard coded in the program so let's actually examine r0 this is demo pass as we expect and r1 is elite speak which is the password now the key difference i want to point out is in the 32 bit case which we had taken up in previous videos all the arguments to function calls were actually there on the stack on arm based systems these are there in cpu registers this is the key difference once you understand this there is nothing more to it so one of the ways is we could probably copy this out and go ahead and run the program again with this and of course it would work uh instead let's actually do stuff more at run time so let's go back here let's disassemble main and we know that is password correct is coming back 
and if you notice the R0 register the value in it is getting stored in R3 finally after a bunch of stuff there is a comparison with the value 1 based on which we are going to either unlock the secret or do something else now as you're probably wondering uh, can I just call different functions the way we did before absolutely so you could actually do a call unlock secret just like you probably done in the previous videos this would work fantastically uh, in this case because we want to do stuff at runtime let's actually set a breakpoint here so that we can look at the return value of is password correct which as we would imagine would be zero so let's set up a breakpoint let's continue the program we hit that breakpoint let's do info registers oops let's do in info registers and as you see the value of r0 is 0 right this is not desirable and just like what we did previously you could very simply set the value of r0 to 1 there you go and now we can continue the program and fantastic we get the secret code right so the key thing which I want to focus on is on an ARM based system uh, if you want to play at the assembly level and of course you could have programs which are way more complicated than this simple example where you also had an idea about how the code look like uh, you would need to definitely need to learn more ARM assembly number one number two the key thing uh, is to understand that the ARM function call convention is different than what we've seen on x86 machines 32 bit ones and the key difference is instead of storing function arguments on the stack in ARM we store them in CPU registers R0 to R3 right okay fantastic so that's all for this video you can go ahead and download the slides the code file and all of that by either tweeting and downloading using the link in the description or by registering for the SGDE by paying $1.50 you would really appreciate if you could do that and you would get the course slides and video uh, the video downloads in high quality mock exam certification exam and a copy of the PDF certificate if you pass the exam that's all for this video have a great day ahead bye bye